welcome students we will start today's lecture by this motivational quote arise awake and stop not till goal is reached swami vivekananda dear students last in last lecture we discussed the basics of time and work now we are discussing the different patterns of time and work a can complete a work in 12 days b can complete a work in 15 days if they work together and the total wages is 1530 rupees then find the difference between a and b's wages guys as we all know wages will be distributed according to their capacity according to their capacity here we can see capacity of a and capacity of b will decide the distribution of wages now apply the basic structure of time and work here a can complete the work in 12 days b can complete the same piece of work in 15 days taking the lcm of 12 and 15 which is equal to 60 in last class we have discussed how to calculate the lcm in prompt way okay so this is total work this is total work now 60 work is done by a in 12 days it means the capacity of a is equal to 5 similarly capacity of b is equal to 4 is it okay guys now as we all know the wages is distributed according to their capacity so here we can see wages will distribute according to the ratio of their capacity which is pi ratio 4 okay the total of this ratio is 9 and the total wage is equal to 1530 rupees so here we can see the uh, 1530 rupees is value of 9 which is equivalent to the total wage and we have to find out the difference of wage of a and b so difference of 5 and 4 is 1 after calculating this we will get 170 rupees okay dear friends next james and mark can paint 720 boxes in 20 days here we can see work is already given there is no need of taking lcm of individual time so capacity of james and mark is equal to 720 upon 20 as we all know capacity is equal to work upon time so which is equal to 36 capacity of mark and harry is equal to 720 upon 24 which is equal to 30 and capacity of james plus and harry is equal to 720 upon 15 which is equal to 48 dear students here we can see the combined capacity of james and mark mark and harry and james and harry okay but in question we need the individual capacity of all these guys okay that's why we will take the old capacity together james plus mark mark plus harry and harry plus jeb which is equal to 36 plus 30 plus 48 okay guys now after addition 36 plus 30 plus 48 114 this is total capacity of jams mark and harry together okay guys but in this question we need individual capacity of james mark and harry that's why here we can see two of one gem one gem two of james plus mark 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 harry 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 is equal to 114 so James plus Mark plus Harry is equal to 
वन वन फोर अपॉन टू विच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सेवन दिस इज कंबाइंड कैपेसिटी ऑफ दिस ओल थ्री गाइज ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द इंडिविजुअल कैपेसिटी ऑफ जेम्स विच कैन बी एवोलेटेड बाई सब्रेक्टिंग द कैपेसिटी ऑफ जेम्स प्लस मार्क टूगेदर फ्रॉम दिस जेम्स प्लस मार्क प्लस हेरी माइनस जेम्स एंड मार्क which is equal to 57 gems minus gems mark minus mark 57 minus j and m 36 which is equal to 21 similarly gems marks and harry minus gems and harry which will give the capacity of mark 9 similarly capacity of gem mark harry minus capacity of mark and harry together which is equal to 57 minus 30 27 guys uh, here we got the individual capacity of harry mark and gem okay so put the value here uh gems work for four days gems capacity of gems is 27 into 4 plus mark For eight days, capacity of mark is nine. Nine into eight plus. Harry works for eight days. Capacity of Harry is equal to twenty one. Twenty one into eight, which is equal to three forty eight. This is the number of boxes made by all of them in particular time. Okay, this is a uh, correct option is C here. Okay, guys. Next one. A man and woman have a work contract of six sixty rupees. Man can complete that work alone in twelve days. Man can complete in twelve days. Woman can complete that work in fifteen days. Woman can complete that in fifteen days. With the help of boy, man, woman, and boy. can complete this work in 3 days okay so then find what the guy's wages okay here we have to find out the capacity of guy because as we all know the wages is distributed according to the capacity of individuals okay so what is the lcm here 15 12 uh, which is 60 so capacity of men is equal to 5 capacity of women is equal to 4 and capacity of all together is equal to 20 60 by 3 which is equal to 20 okay here we have to find out the ways so so we can find here so we have to find here the individual capacity of that guy okay here we have the capacity of all man plus women plus boy is equal to 20 and capacity of man plus woman is equal to 5 plus 4 which is equal to 9 subtract these first one and second one subtract first equation from second equation we can find the capacity of that boy individual man is cancelled by man woman is cancelled by woman so boy capacity is 20 minus 9 which is equal to 11 so wages will be distributed according to their capacity here we can see the ratio of the capacity of man woman and that boy is 
four, eleven. So total is here twenty. And total ways we can see six sixty. Here you can see the total part of wages is five four eleven, which is equal to twenty. And total ways is six sixty here. So we can put the this equivalent six sixty is value of twenty. And we have to find what we have to find the ways of that guy, which is equal to eleven. So twenty. This is equal to thirty-three into eleven. Here I am telling uh, extra trick of eleven with any number, like here eleven into thirty-three. Simply you have to write three as it is three, three as it is three, and add three plus three, which is equal to six. So where's of that guy is three six three rupees. Okay. Similarly, you can take one more example. Eleven into fifty-two, two as it is two, five as it is five, five plus two seven. Then we will discuss later that all calculation tricks which will be beneficial for you in exam to manage your time. Uh, you can directly figure out this answer by checking the divisibility of eleven because whatever we have to find, it always comes. In multiplication, that's why uh, here we can see three sixty three is divisible by eleven. So direct answer we can calculate the direct answer, which is three sixty three. Okay. We will discuss all the tricks how to solve the question by uh, options, how to solve the questions by hidden trial, and how to solve the questions by option elimination. Okay, guys. Next question. This is question based on multiple main power of variety of male power. Okay, guys. So whenever there is multiple main power or variety of male power is given in the question, then you have to apply what is chain rule. Chain rule means M one T one R one. Upon W one is just equal to M two T two R two upon W two. It can be continuous for M three T three R three upon W three. Depends on the number of situations. Okay, what is M T R and W here? M means main power. Here we can see main power is just equal to capacity. Okay, T is time. T one means a uh, time for first situation. T two means for time for second situation. T four, T three means time for third situation, and so on. R means rate here. You can say working eight hours daily, working ten uh, hours daily. This is rate, rate of doing the work, and W is work like building hundred meter wall, making hundred chapatis, and planting two hundred trees. These all are come in the category of work. These all are belong to the category of work. Okay, guys. So apply here the chain rule. Chain rule is what? Seven men, ten women can complete the work in twenty-four days. This is main power, and this is time for first situation. Okay, same work, same work. In how many days? Fourteen men and four women can complete the same work. Okay, so this is second situation. Fourteen men. Plus four women can complete the same work in T two time. Here we have to find out the time of second situation. Okay, you have to you have to be careful for this or and this end. Here or represents four, either seven 
or 10 one from these two and stand for 14 men and four women together okay so we can put here seven men just equal to 10 women because this is saying seven men or 10 women okay it means seven men is just equivalent to 10 women okay so the capacity of men and women is in the ratio uh, seven and ten you just cross it you just have to cross it okay so uh, here we have to put the value of m is equal to 10 and value of women is equal to 7 okay now solve this question m1 t1 m1 t1 is equal to m2 t2 okay 7 m into 24 equal to 14 m plus 4 women into t2 okay what is the value of m here value of m is 10 7 into 10 into 24 is equal to 14 into 10 plus what is the value of women 4 into 7 into t2 after solving this 70 into 24 is just equal to 140 plus 28 into t2 here 70 into 24 is equal to 168 t2 so we can say here t2 is equal to 70 into 24 upon 168 so our answer is t2 equal to 10 days what is our answer option 2 is correct answer okay guys let's understand again chain rule is very important that's why i am taking this again what is chain rule chain rule is applicable for uh, multiple situations and multiple main power so uh, here we can see m1 t1 r1 upon w1 is just equal to m2 t2 r2 upon w2 m2 m3 t3 r3 upon w3 multiple situation you can move for m4 t4 r4 upon w4 also here m stands for main power or capacity t stands for time r stands for rate rate of doing okay at w stands for work building of a hundred meter wall planting trees uh, making copies making buckets by a machine anything else okay so put the value m1 t1 equal to m2 t2 here we can see there are only two situations okay but in first situation uh, either we can we can use either seven men or 10 women because or is given between these two manpower okay and in second situation end is given that's why end stands for they are working together okay so put the value seven men equal to 10 women and uh, here we can see uh, the value of m and women m stand for men and w stand for women which is 10 ratio 7 okay so after putting this value we will get the value of time 2 equal to 10 days okay guys here we can see 12 boys and 20 men can complete a work in 30 days 12 boys plus 20 men can complete the work in 30 days okay one man capacity is thrice to the one boy man and boy capacity is thrice to the boy it means capacity of boy is one then capacity of man is thrice to it okay three ratio one okay then how many days two one six boys can complete a work two one six boys can complete a work in how many days so put the values of uh, capacity of man and boy which is equal to 12 into 1 plus 20 into 3 whole multiplied by 30 which is equal to 216 into t we have to find out the t here 
so 12 plus 60 into 30 is equal to 216 into t which is equal to 72 into 30 equal to 216 into t so we can see here t is equal to 72 into 30 divided by 216 you can say this is 72 one just 72 72 is a 144 73 is a 216 okay 3 10 ja 20 so our answer is 10 days 10 days are required to complete the work by 216 boys okay guys we applied simply m1 t1 equal to m2 t2 okay and the capacity is directly given here main capacity is tries to the uh, tries to one boy's capacity so we can take here the boy capacity is equal to one then capacity of men will be three okay guys next same question four men and six women can complete our four men plus six women can complete a work in 10 days okay five men plus two women can complete a work in 12 days okay in how many days 10 here we can see there are three situations in how many days so we have to put m1 t1 equal to m2 t2 equal to m3 t3 this is the shortcut of this is uh, four men plus six women equal to 10 and five men plus two women is equal to 12 so you can directly compare the men and men women and women 10 into 4 it means 40 men 12 into 5 minus 60 men is just equal to 10 into 6 60 women minus 12 into 2 24 women there is no significance of a uh, sign here so only we have to subtract them 40 minus 60 20 men and 60 minus 24 which is equal to 36 women so here we can see 20 men is just equal uh, 20 men is equal to 36 women so capacity of men and women is uh, 36 and 20 which is equal to 9 ratio 5 so you can put you can put these values in any situation m1 t1 is equal to m3 t3 we have to put the situation in which variable is unknown to the situation in which variable all variables are known so we can see here m1 t1 is given m3 is also given but we have to find out the t3 here okay m1 is four men plus six women into 10 which is equal to what is asked 10 men and 15 women 10 men and 15 women in how many days t3 is asked okay so put the value of m1 put the value of men and women 4 into 9 plus 6 into 5 into 10 equal to 10 into 9 plus 15 into 5 into t3 so we can see here uh, this is 36 and 30 which is equal to 66 into 10 which is equal to 90 plus uh, 75 165 into t3 T3 is here 66 into 10 is upon 165, which is equal to four days.
what is different thing here here there are three situations so first of all you have to take uh, two situations of known variables and then you have to uh, make equivalent of third situation where one variable is missing to the any one situation of known variable after equating m1 t1 m2 t2 uh, we will find the value of main capacity and value of women capacity for that you have to multiply the days with men and the days with men of second situation okay and subtract them and put them equivalent to the days multiply with uh, women in first situation then days multiply with women in second situation okay after after subtract them by ignoring the sign okay guys next okay guys next question eight men complete a work in four days okay 12 women can complete it in four days and while eight children can complete in eight days here there are three situations m1 t1 just equal to m2 t2 equal to m3 t3 variables of these all three situations are given so put the values m1 t1 which is equal to eight men into four m2 t2 which is equal to 12 women into 4 m3 t3 this is equal to 8 children into 8 okay cancel this 8 1 8 and 8 6 8 1 okay so 4 men is equal to 6 women is equal to 8 children now we have to take the ratio of the, their capacity. So if we have to find out the ratio in such pattern, then if, if we are taking the value of M, then leave the value of M and take the value of other two, six and eight, six into eight. Similarly, if you are taking the value of women, then leave the coefficient of women and take the value of men and children, which is equal to four into eight. Similarly, if we are finding the value of children, then you have to avoid the value of coefficient of children and multiply the variable coefficients of men and children, four into six, okay? Which is equal to 48, 32 and 24. Again, we can cancel by 8. 8, 6 is 8, 8, 4 is 32, 8, 3 is 24. This is the ratio of capacity of men, women, and child. Okay. Here we can see what is asked if two men, eight children, and three women help work together for two days. So two men plus eight children plus three women work for two days. Put the values of MWC respectively. Two into six plus eight into three plus three into four multiplied by two, which is equal to 12, 24 and 12. 48, 48 into 96. 96 is work completed by these guys in this situation. Okay, here, after that remaining work to be completed by only females in two days, okay, in two days. So, remaining work is total work minus remaining work. How we will find the total work? Total work is equal to M1, T1. Either you can take M1, T1, M2, T2, M3, T3, any of them, okay. So, eight men into four days m1 t1 put the value of men eight into six into four okay which is equal to 192 okay so subtracting 196 192 minus 96 which is equal to 96 so number of women is equal to total work 96 they have two days okay and capacity of women is equal to four so which is equal to 12 days very simple okay guys 
Okay, let's take it again. There are three situations: M1, T1, M2, T2, M3, T3 here. And all variables of these three situations are given here. M1, T1 is given here. M2, T2 is given here, and M3, T3 is given here. So oh, after calculating the values, we can find out the ratio of man power to women power to children power. Children power means capacity here. Okay. So if you want to uh, take the cap uh, ratio of these three variables, okay, so you have to do in this way. This is shortcut. Okay. If we are finding the values of m, then ignore the coefficient of m and take the coefficient of c. Women and children, eight and six. Okay. In same way, you have to ignore the coefficient of women and take the coefficient of men and children, four into eight. And same way, if you have to find out the value of children, then ignore the coefficient of children and take the coefficient of male and women, which is four into six. So you can uh, simplify it in six ratio four ratio three. This is very essential because in implementation of chain rule, we have to put these values in question. Okay, guys. So after putting these value, we got the answer twelve days. Okay, dear students, this was for today. We will take advanced level questions in next lecture with different varieties of questions. So uh, till that, thank you. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Keep learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.